Hey, I just got back from Columbus, Ohio, and what a great trip I had. So Columbus is known for, of course, the Buckeyes, and of course their famous neighborhoods, the Short North and Germantown. I'm going to take you for a walk around the downtown area where we're going to see things modern, historic, and scenic. So most of my weekend was spent at the Columbus Convention Center, which is both modern and historic. It sits on the former site of the Columbus Union Station. If you don't have a reason to go to the Convention Center, I'll give you one. The As We Are exhibit. It's the work of Matthew Moore, who teaches at the Columbus College of Art. You can get a selfie of yourself in the photo booth inside the neck and see your own face pop up on the exhibit. Don't leave the convention center without checking out the statue of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Back in 1970, he won his first Mr. World competition here in Columbus. Let's start the walk. The Nationwide Arena opened in 2000 and hosts the Columbus Blue Jackets NHL hockey team. The area surrounding Nationwide Arena is called the Arena District, which offers some new residential buildings, restaurants, bars, offices, all around the arena. The arena sits 18,500 for hockey. The Nationwide Insurance Headquarters is right across the street from the arena. We're heading over now to the north edge of McPherson Commons Park, home to the Union Station Arch. The Columbus Union Station opened in 1897 and was designed by Daniel Burnham at the site of the Convention Center. When the station was demolished, Back in 1979, the arch was saved and it has moved to this location and has become the focal point of McPherson Commons Park. McPherson Commons was created around 1999 and named after Damon McPherson, who was a CEO of Nationwide Insurance. The park sits on the site of the old Ohio Penitentiary, but is now a recreation area for the Arena District. During the winter, the park is the Columbus Blue Jackets Winter Park, and they build an NHL-sized ice rink, operating for about a month or so. On the south end, the McPherson Commons neighbors North Bank Park, and we're going to head there right now. And as I head into North Bank Park, they had just finished the Columbus 10K road race. And uh, there were a lot of runners around and uh, festivities still going on. I sure wish I could have joined them. The park was dedicated in 2005 and includes this beautiful glass pavilion that's available for public rentals. The white stone on the stairs you see up ahead is actual stone from the Ohio Penitentiary that once stood just north of the park. 
Just behind the pavilion is access to the Scioto River Greenway. And as we look carefully down the Scioto River under the railroad bridge, you'll see some kayakers. The Scioto Greenway Trail is a route that goes on both east and west sides of the Scioto River. It's great for biking, running, or walking with awesome views of downtown and the river. Across the river is the National Veterans Memorial and Museum. It opened in 2018. I would love to go visit this in my next trip. Straight ahead here is a United States District Court and behind that is the American Electric Power Building. Okay, I'm gonna start heading toward High Street and these are city offices. The city Hall on the right and on the left are more city offices. And this is the city government green space. This new sculpture had opened in June of 2023 when I walked by. Designed by Janet Eshelman, the 229 foot long soft fiber sculpture is suspended above High Street. It's made of 78 miles of twine and more than a half a million knots of blue and red colors make up the longest piece of public art in Columbus. Okay, walking north on High Street now. I want to pay attention to this building on the left. This is the Columbia Building and it's now home to the Elevator Brewery and Draft House. It was built in 1897 by the Bott family and originally opened as the Bott Brothers Billiards. The mahogany bar inside the building actually predates the building. It was constructed for entry in the 1893 Columbian Exhibition at the Chicago World's Fair and it took first prize. The Bott family brought the bar to Columbus. This will be another must stop for my next trip. Time to eat. The North Market is a food hall that was established in 1876. They have specialty foods, they have ready to eat foods, everything I have tried in the market has been absolutely delicious. After a long day of walking and volleyball matches at the convention center, there was nothing hit the spot better than a bubble tea from Bubbles and delicious hot pretzels from Bretzels. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.